The first weekend of the voluntary curfew in the short north is over. There were no shootings, but many businesses also chose not to close down at midnight. Thanks for joining us tonight at 6. I'm Yolanda Harris. And I'm Andrew Kinsey. Tonight we are getting reaction from police and members of the community about how it went. CTV's Carly Dion joining us live tonight from the short north with that angle. Carly. Andrew and Yolanda, Columbus police say they there were not any shootings this past weekend in the short north, but there were still quite a few arrests and citations handed out. Community members say they're hopeful things will continue in the right direction. People be out here drunk, you know, you know, doing all type of irrational things, you know. You don't want no innocent bystander to get hurt. Some members of the community saying the increase in security measures over the weekend are necessary to put an end to the recent trend of violence. The city and the, you know, the district would not be taking these measures if we didn't feel like it was imperative. It's so necessary to get us back to feeling safe again. Columbus police partnering with the city to implement a voluntary midnight curfew of bars and businesses, an overnight parking ban, and other safety measures after shootings back-to-back -back weekends left a 21-year-old man dead and 10 people injured. I think that our message is clear. Columbus Police Chief Elaine Bryant sat down with 10 TV's Tracy Townsend. She says she thinks the new security measures went well in their first weekend. And the people that were coming down for the wrong reasons, they stayed away. The overnight parking ban, which took effect from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m., led to 297 parking citations and 107 vehicles impounded. Chief Bryant says a total of seven firearms were also recovered by police and nearly 20 arrests, including misdemeanors, felonies and warrants. This is, I think, intended to create a pause. Short North Civic Association President Jack Decker says the data will need to be looked at over time to evaluate what's working and what isn't. He says he's most disappointed in some businesses' decision to stay open despite the voluntary curfew. To the club owners who are putting a couple nights profits ahead of the long-term welfare of the neighborhood are being penny-wise and pound-foolish. Now, Columbus police and the city have said these safety measures will stay in place as long as it takes to put an end to the violence here. Live in the short north, Carly Dion, 10TV News.